In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, I want to take you along as I go on what's probably one of the biggest thrift hauls I've done. That's right, three full cartloads. Just look at all this stuff, and this is just from one store. Two more to go. Hey, we got a shop to fill, so let's go shopping. So if you're ready for this episode of Flea Market Rescue, then let's go ahead and let's do this. Before we get started, I just want to welcome anyone who's new here to Flea Market Rescue. My name is Kelly Sherry, and I do a lot of home decor makeovers and furniture flips. Also, I love to take you along as we go thrifting, garage sailing, and flea marketing. If you're interested in learning how to do some of this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Well, I think it has been a whole year since I've been to this Salvation Army. This is a Salvation Army on Gratiot, and it's in Clinton Township. I really didn't know what to expect because the last time I was here, I think I maybe found like three things. But today was a totally different story. The first thing I came across was this tree and it was only $4.99. Yeah, it has a little mix match greenery, but you know what? It's going to make a great display tree. I'm totally getting it. Yep, it's going right in the basket. Heck yeah, it's our happy place. I love the thrift store. Okay, this is $6.99, and I think that's a pretty good price. It's a large sign. Now, this is cute, but hang on. I see something here. What is this? Is this a cow? A pig? No. Oh, it's a sheep. Oh, how cool is that? I always see pigs or cows. Hmm. All right, we're going to get this. Look at this, two price tags on there. I wonder what the real price is. I really like letter boards. Do I need another letter board though? Oh, my kid would be like, ooh, gross. Oh, this is such a cool sign. This could be for fall. This could be in the garden if you take the leaves off. Whoa, we have to get this. Oh, now this is beautiful. Look at this, you guys. Oh, I really like this. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get this. That's a cool Santa sleigh. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. But you know what? I'd want to paint it and then I would paint over that. So what's the use? All right, let's look at this again. $7.99. That's like $8. I don't know. This is a cool plain sign. You could put whatever you wanted on there. They had such a big selection of silver platters and pitchers. That's about the going rate. $12.99. Now this one here is very unusual and I think I'm going to get this one. This is really cool, but I'm not sure what to make out of it. Is it tarnished or is it more like that mercury glass? I'm not quite sure. They definitely have the stuff here today. Like my mom says, you want to look high and you want to look low. This is really unusual. It's metal, it's square. Look how gracefully I put it in the basket. I spotted this right away and I moved everything to get to it. And when I touched it, it had this weird fill. Someone definitely redid it and it has like this bumpy kind of fill, like spray paint on it. Look at me, I can't push it to the back fast enough. Oh, but wait, look at this glass bottle. It's pretty cool and it's only $3.99, but you know what? I'm going to think about it. I love this jar. It is coming home with me. We're getting a nice little collection here.
These are good to add those apothecary labels to. What do we have here? Just the top of a rooster? I wish I could find the other half of that. I love these little houses and they would look so good on a wreath, but I wish there was more of them and I don't even know what the price is of these. Nope, I'm not seeing anything, only the original price. Will you look at this? A sheep. It's cool, but it's also different at the same time. I don't know. Hmm. And it was just then that I heard the noise of the wheels. And you remember what my mom said. How much oh. is that? Okay, now when they bring out a cart and you hear those wheels, you go follow it. Because this is all new stuff that they're bringing in right now. And that's exactly what I did. Just came out with all of this. This is awesome. I didn't grab anything out of the basket. I just let her put it on the shelf and then I just took things I wanted. It's very cute for Christmas. Will you look at this? I love it. I like this sign, but it was a little more on the pricier side. This deer is really cute. I think I'm going to have to get him for my Christmas stash. As she put this down, I picked it up. I was just about to get this and put it in my basket, but I noticed there was a little rust in the corner, and that would mean I would have to repaint it. And then what would happen with the lettering? Would I have to redo the lettering too? So I just passed on that. I was digging my way to this long metal bucket, but then I noticed it had fruit on it. Now, I don't buy anything with fruit on it. I just don't like that look, so I just stopped right there. I kind of really like this basket, but then once I grabbed it, I was like, eh, eh, and I just passed on it. So that was about it for the new stuff. So I went to the end, and look what I found. A rooster. cock a doodle do. I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. Love it, love, love, love it. It's going straight in the basket. But then I looked at the price, $16.99, it is going back on the shelf. You know I collect those white pictures whenever I find them. All thanks to Debbie. You guys remember what she did with the wooden spoons. Loved it. Now, anytime I find a white pitcher, I pick it up because I can picture the wooden spoons in it. Speaking of Debbie, she is planning on raffling off her flying pig on our grand opening of our store. You know how she loves flying pigs, but she also loves to redecorate. So this is one of the items that she's going to raffle off. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and announce it. So the grand opening of the store is going to be on April 29th, which is a Saturday between 11 and 5. We're going to have a lot of great home decor there, and it's going to be reasonably priced. We have food, beverages, raffles, and a meet and greet with me, my mom, and Debbie. We hope to see you there. All right, where were we? Oh, that's right, white pitchers. Anytime I see them, I always pick them up now. Look at the colors in these. Oh my gosh, for fall, they're gonna be beautiful. We have to get them. Oh, I bet this goes to the corn, but you know what? There is a chip on the lid, so it's just really not good for me to get this. This was new. I saw someone from the Salvation Army put it out. I think we're gonna have to get this too because I think it's gonna be a great seller if I don't break it. Oh, $4.99, that's great. I just couldn't stop thinking about these sheep. Yep, there were two. I just got to get them. They're a little unusual, but I think they're going to be a good seller. Oh, look, another white pitcher hiding back here. It's nice, and it's only $4.99.
They also have a lot of furniture here too. I'm just taking a look to see if there's anything that will look cute in our store. I bet this would look nice painted. But first, how would I get it home? And it is $80. I don't know what it is about this hat, but I just kept looking at it thinking, wow, this would look good in a garden room. It looks really high class. I could see it hanging on a peg, you know, like a gardener would put it on just before they went out gardening. A high class gardener, maybe someone with some horses. But did I get it? No, I passed on it. Well, I sure do have a cart full here. Well, this is me being rung up here, and she kept saying, I really love your taste. You guys, it was totally my lucky day today. I'm going to take you to another place. Yep, I'm going to take you to one of my mom's and Debbie's favorite places. This is one of my mom's and Debbie's favorite places to go. So I'm going to take you here today. When you first walk in, you're like, whoa, guns? Who's carrying guns? And it looks like they might have a lot of people trying to steal stuff, too. But that didn't deter me from shopping. Right away, I came across this face sign. Yes, I have faith we're gonna find stuff here. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. One shoe can change your life, Cinderella. This is cute. Boy, I'll tell you, their prices are pretty good. Wow, this is really heavy and it's big too. I think this is a little too heavily carved. Wow, $5. Oh, we are so getting these. $3 each? I haven't even been here 10 minutes and I've already found some great stuff. I can totally see why my mom and Debbie like shopping here. Oh my gosh, I am loving this place. I really like dress forms, but this reminds me a little bit of the circus. I know how you guys love pigs. I love pigs too. Um, I might paint this, but then again, someone might like this color. This is the perfect chair for behind the counter. I just picked up this exact thing at another thrift store. And there's two of them here. We're going to have to get them both. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so the woman who worked here, she was bringing these out and I said, oh, can I take those? And she said, I have to put them on the shelf. So that's why I was thanking her. These are gorgeous. I am so glad that I'm able to get these. Heck yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, I have to get this table. We're gonna need another basket. I love this store. And can I say, they were so helpful. They carried it up to the front. The only thing they ask is that you pay for it right then and there because otherwise someone else can purchase it. So that's what I did. They even had stuff on top of the clothes racks, every single one of them. Look at me trying to untangle this mess of metal. Oh, I like this and it's only $5. We got to get it. Oh 
Oh, I like this. Look at that, a watering can and a candle all mixed in one. We're gonna have to get the other one too. When I spotted this, I was like, oh my gosh, look at this. These angels, they're so cool. But then I looked at their faces and not so cool. They look like the evil twin. So back on the shelf you go. Let me just get down this candlestick here because it looks beautiful. It has a lot of detail, but at $9, mm, I'm going to have to put this back. I'm going to pass. Love these. These are like little votive holders in a white wire basket. Oh, I'm going to have to get this. Oh, what's this? A candle holder. Oh, and it has celebrate on the front. I like this. Okay, I'm going to get this. A little tree cutting board. That's cute. Ooh, what do we have here? Looks like a little mixer, but I don't understand. Is that like a candle holder? Um, why is that so yellow? Okay, well, it's interesting. Oh, look, you guys, reindeers. They would be great during Christmas, and they're not that much money. There's two of them. You didn't think I wasn't going to put them in the cart, did you? This is an adorable skinny little tree. Why not? Let's do it. I think we're running out of room. Okay, I like these skinny letters. They spell out peace, but I don't know if we have room in the cart. I might have to just put them in the little nooks and crannies or wherever I can fit them. I'm gonna have to rearrange things here. Oh, my mom would hate these, these big nutcrackers. I think they're kind of cool, but I don't want to pay $19 each. I like this wire basket. I mean, you can never have too many wire baskets, right? Yeah, maybe we'll get this, but you know what? I'm not sure what that says. Is that a two or is that a Z? I don't know what that is. This is a cute two-tier stand. All right, I'm not even sure what this is. I mean, I like the blackboard, I like the metal, but what is this? Oh, we're gonna have a crib at the shop, so you know what? I think we're gonna need this to put our little pods in. Oh, when I see $1, we're definitely gonna have to get this. Well, it's actually $1.99. You can't see, because in small print it says 99 cents. They have it on all the tickets, so you might see one or you might see two or whatever the number is, but there's always a 99 cents after it. Wow, this is a cool bowl. I really like it. The handles almost look like twigs, and it just has a really unusual look, but a very high-end look. All right, all right, I know. Where are you gonna put this bowl? I know, my cart's filled to the ceiling. But where there's a will, there's a way. I really like this. And it has ropes so I can hang it off the side. I'm just kidding. I can get this in the basket. This is really interesting, but I don't know what it's used for. They have really like long, slender compartments. All right, this is kind of neat, but I definitely would want to redo it because I don't like the colors of it. Wow, is this a picket fence tray and in black? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get this too. If there's anything that has the right look, it's this piece right here. Wow, I love it. I'm probably gonna keep it for myself. Oh, now this is really cute. This would look good on like a black metal table with some apothecary stuff. Ooh, what do we have here? I like the greenery in this. It looks like a metal kind of shelf. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get this too. Where am I gonna put all this stuff? A metal birdhouse for $3, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to end up carrying this underneath my arm or something. All right, I just look insane now. I have things even stacked up on the handlebar. But nope, I'm not finished looking at everything in the store. 
Just look at this. Can you believe all this wonderful stuff here? I'm in heaven. This is such a nice classic print on here and we could put pillows in there. They have a really nice high quality fill to them. I might have to get them and these we can stuff anywhere. I look down and underneath, look at a whole tub of paper mache. Now I really wanna look through this, but I don't even have room. So I'm just gonna pass on that. I'm gonna try making my way up to the cash register. I thought these were old clothespins. They're actually white plastic ones. This looked to be like another black and white classic kind of pillow. However, now that I'm looking at it, I think it was navy and I didn't like the gold going through it. So I didn't get this pillow. And where was I gonna put it anyway? But then I spotted this one and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make room. I don't care what I gotta pile it on because this one had such a nice look to it. It was soft. It had like a linen fill to it. And again, it was in the classic white and black. Okay, so I looked like I had lost my mind. People were staring at me. Things were falling out of my cart, but I made it up to the register. I ended up spending $1.90 on all of this and I think it was well worth it. Luckily I had cash on me because they only take cash. So keep that in mind if you do plan on coming here. All right, so when I was in the store, I ran into someone who watches Flea Market Rescue. At first she's like, you look so familiar, but um, it's like someone I watch on Facebook, so it couldn't be. And I'm like, is it Flea Market Rescue? She goes, yes, but I didn't notice you know, you weren't with your posse, Debbie and my mom. So she didn't think it was me. And I'm like, it's me. And I go, what's your name? She said, Michelle. So Michelle, I just want to give a shout out to you. That was really cool running into you. All right, I'm on my way home, but we're passing the Salvation Army. So I think we're going to have to stop in here. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put anything, but you know what? I'm in it to win it. Okay, so the first thing I see is this pail. Wow, look at this. Isn't this pretty? We might have to get this, you guys. This photo is just too cool. Now, I don't know these people, and I'm sure you don't either, but their look is really cool. You could do a collage on the wall. I think I'm gonna get this. I've never seen a bread box that has like the galvanized steel in it, but it is $14.99, and that's really expensive for a bread box. Oh geez, I'm like a bull in the china shop. Good thing this isn't glass. Anyway, I had actually bought one of these a while back. However, it had a really nice burlap. This is brown, I don't like this, so I'm not gonna purchase it. These are super cool. I think they're cast iron. There's two of them, they're taped together as a pair. I'm gonna get these. You know, I got a thing for houses and this would be perfect during Christmas time. It would look so cute in the store. Where am I gonna put all this stuff in my car? I don't, I don't know. Like I said, where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, this color on this chalkboard is really pretty. I think we're gonna have to get this too. And it's thin, so it'll fit in the car, no problem. If this doesn't scream spring, I don't know what does. Oh, look at this crock right next to it. You know what though? This reminds me of, my mom used to use these for dog bowls and that's what it reminds me of. But crocks are popular. Oh, I might have to get these. These look a little royal. I remember scrambling for witches hats last year, trying to put them in a photo and uh, I had a hard time finding some. So I'm gonna pick up these. This is a really nice pumpkin. It's heavy. It has like a quality feel to it. So I'm gonna get this too. I don't know why I'm whispering. Like I'm gonna get in trouble. Yeah, call the paddy wagon on me. I know, I know. I don't need another table. I got one sitting in the car right now as we speak but it would be a good table for someone. I'm getting this for my husband. I got a good squirrel story for you. Picture it, 
Sicily, 1922. No, I'm just kidding. That's from the Golden Girls. My mom loves the Golden Girls. So do I and my sister. Anyway, my husband is like Dr. Doolittle. He feeds all the nature, birds, squirrels, you name it. So this lady is walking her dog and she sees like all these squirrels around the tree and she's like, oh wow, look at all those squirrels. And as she's passing, she's seeing all the peanuts on the ground and she's like, that you're feeding. And she walked off all angry. Anyway, I'm going to get this. And during Christmas time, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And this is going to be from the squirrels. A little thank you to him. Wow. Look at this. I love this. And you know what? It is a tan tag. So we are going to get it for half off. $4.50. This arch is huge. And I know that this would be a seller. I mean, it's really big. All right, if I get these two, we got to go straight to the cash register. But not before I look at this. All right, have yourself a Merry Christmas. And it looks like it's an antique mirror. This thing is huge, but it's 20 bucks. All right, I have enough. We're going to go straight to the register. And once you know it, right by the register is this. Two awesome lanterns. All right, we managed to fill another cart. All right, seriously, we got to get out of here. Oh, but I see one more thing. Okay, I'm just going to get this, and that is it. Normally, I would not get something like this, but this is right in trend of what's going on with, like, IOD molds and their transfers and stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick this up because during Christmas, it's going to sell. All right, you guys, look at my car. This, without a doubt, is one of the biggest thrift hauls that I've done. Yikes. So my husband wants me to go pick up a pizza, and I literally do not know where I'm going to put it. If you've seen my car, it's just insane. Like, I, there's, I, I'm going to have to put it on top of my head, I think. Well, don't forget about our grand opening. You're going to see a lot of these items in our store, and that is going to be on April 29th. It's a Saturday between 11 and 5. Again, we're going to have tons of home decor, food, beverages, raffles. And again, you're going to get to meet me, my mom, and Debbie. What's better than that? We hope to see you there. And for those of you who are just too far to come, I completely understand. I have been taking film footage of everything. So there's going to be a complete reveal of how the store came together, what it took, and then you'll get to see the grand opening as well. Also, I just want to remind you, for those of you who really wanted to buy something, that we do have online shopping every third week of the month. So you still would be able to purchase stuff from us. This month, it'll be on April 20th at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That will be on my website. So earlier in the day, I will show you a preview in the video of what we're going to have available. And then at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Everything will launch on my website and will be available to purchase. Again, that's going to be on April 20th at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my website. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. Thank you for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.